Hello agents and welcome to another division video. As you all know, the global event has finished and I collected the only reclaimer classified gear set. And in this video, I'm going to show you classified reclaimer all six pieces. I put together some dots, put together a build, uh, and in this short 30 second sequence, you are going to see what this build is all about. So just check this out. Okay guys, after you saw this build, uh, we are going to go through the every single piece in this build. I'm going to show you how I put these things all together and I will try to answer the questions which are like what this build is good for. Uh, I mean it is good for PvP, it is good for PvE, it's good for solo play, it's awesome for uh, group play. Primarily I think this build is uh, made for the group play, to be a healer build, uh, but if you are going to play solo with that much skill power, uh, you can really choose which way you want to go with this build. So let's just start with the uh, build itself. Uh, I will show you what I'm running uh, right now. Uh, it is far away from be a fully optimized build. Uh, I did what I get uh, and uh, I'm going to show you. This is my reclaimer vest uh, with skill haste, exotic damage resilience and increased kill XP. To tell you immediately all things are rolled electronics. I didn't uh, go to get the highest possible electronics. I rolled it once or twice just to satisfy the needs for a build uh, because in patch 1.8 we are going to be able to fully optimize our build on the optimization station. So I get the vest uh, which I couldn't do better uh, in my opinion this vest would be better if you have skill haste uh, health ammo capacity but increased kill XP is also nice ways to go it doesn't affect that much your build. Uh, so the mods I did one with uh, all electronics skill power this is my variation of the build uh, you can uh, go with electronic skill haste this is probably the better way but uh, because I'm playing PvE I'm playing solo I put all electronic skill power modes uh, because uh, skill haste is not that important if you're playing solo you can choose whether you want to stay in the cover or exit the cover while in pvp uh, you are just need to adapt yourself to situations where you can go in the cover wherever you want especially if you are healing your teammates uh, why I choose uh, electronic skill power? Because uh, the damage from the guns in this build is not that great. Uh, it's full electronics with 350 skill power uh, and you cannot expect to have a great uh, damage with your weapons. Uh, because of that uh, you can use any skill. I mean on Tourette's, uh, Seeker Mines, Sticky Bombs which are doing awesome damage because of that high skill power so this is the way you can go if you want to play solo uh, you can choose the skills you are going to need if you play in, in a group and you are a healer uh, of course you are going to run with both medical skills the heart and soul of this build is a support station and uh, we will quickly go through the talents of the six piece reclaimer so let's just start uh, with the beginning, uh, you have a set bonus to 30% support station range. The range of this support station is huge. Uh, you can even increase this with your mods, but we will come to the mods later. Set bonus 3, 50% support station duration. And set bonus 4, talent reclaimer. Support station gains the benefit of the life support, immunizer and ammo cachet mods at the same 
time. That means whatever support station you are choose to throw on the floor, it will uh, get all these three benefits, life support, demonizer and ammo cache. This is awesome. Uh, talent uh, and it really helping you a lot in uh, many different situations especially in PvE when you are playing some longer missions so that's awesome set bonus for the new bonuses set bonus 5 will give you additional 15% support station range and additional 25% support station duration the 6 bonus 6 is crazy 40% support station revive time 100% support station healing speed and 50% support station health. This is uh, crazy how much uh, re uh, how much toughness you are getting from this support station. As you can see, my toughness is 219,000. I'm I'm really really squishy if you watching just this number but once you put your support station on the floor you are virtually impossible to kill i mean you saw this uh, little clip of 30 seconds after after the f after we finish with the build i will show you the rest of the lexington run uh you can uh, just dance in front of enemies if you fall down you will be up in three seconds and uh you must be, I, I'm sorry to say guys, you must be complete idiot to die if you are using this in PvE. Though I didn't try any legendary or incursions, which I'm going to do very soon, uh, but uh, I was really surprised how this build is working. The healing is crazy coming from the support station. Okay, talent improved reclaimer. Support station gains a 50% chance to have no cooldown triggered when it is destroyed by an enemy. This chance is increased by 10% for every 2000 electronics. You can tell that I'm having 10,000 electronics, just round number. And uh, if I'm reading this correct, if I understand this correct, uh, the cooldowns triggered when it's destroyed by enemy should be like 100% if I'm having like 50% chance to have no cooldown and I'm having 10,000 stamina which is 5 times by 2 and it's like 5 times 10% I will have like 100% chance for no cooldowns that means if they destroy your station you are able to immediately put another one on the floor that's how i understand this talent i think it is uh, though in the situation if you destroy your support station by yourself if you're running away and you have to destroy it uh, in order to go in overhill then uh, you are depending on the cooldowns so that's how i see this talent only if it's hit by the enemy you will have basically no cooldown if you reach these 10,000 electronics for this sixth talent so again electronics with skill power and let's go to my mask uh, hope you guys uh, understand what I wanted to say about this sixth talent it's crazy uh, reclaimer ventilator uh, with skill power and damage to elites made this for PvE again modes electronic skill power my knee pads are reclaimer braces with skill power burn resistance damage to elites and blind death resistance uh, my backpack skill power disrupt resistance the gloves I'm having skill haste marksman rifle damage and assault rifle damage I couldn't roll it better so that's what I get from this global event uh, I re-rolled the third stat was something else, don't remember, I rolled assault rifle damage, I have a marksman rifle damage, the most important thing here is skill haste, you want to go skill haste on all your gear pieces where you can do it on your vest, uh, on your gloves and on your holster, so coming to my holster, skill haste and uh, mods okay guys now let's go to the mods i'm running with four mods uh, with support station healing speed i find out uh, that this is the most important uh, at least to me while i'm playing in the pv that i can be uh, at full health as quick as i can 
uh, considering the high skill power uh, you can go other way with this if you play it in a group uh, you can switch these modes for uh, ally heal 6% ally heal uh, I didn't try uh, you can probably do even better healings if you add 6% first aid self heal uh, but uh, if you are going to do a uh, challenge mode or any other harder content in PV you are going to need the firepower you cannot rely on your guns that much I mean they are doing a decent damage I'll come to the guns later but you really need a weapon that will help you go through the mission in that case if you choose to go with the seeker then you can put this 4% seeker mind damage mods if you choose to go with Tourette you can put this 4% Tourette damage mods I mean it all is going to work very well because of that high skill power uh, in, in order uh, to satisfy your firepower with the skilled objects uh, you can also twitch your talents so I'll come to the talents later I hope you know what I wanted to say with this uh, basically uh, the, the support station is so strong that uh, you really don't need additional mods that will additionally improve your healing with the support station you can go either way and uh, make your beastly Tourette or your sticky bomb or your uh, seeker mines in order to get through the mission really easy the healing will not be problem at all at any time with your support station and the uh, damage you can get uh, really from the skills from your skill object as, uh, as I said already so I will wrap up this here guys I'm going to show you my guns uh, I'm having better guns on my second character but I choose to go with lightweight M4 uh, competent talented and self preserve this self preserve is not really necessary but I wanted to increase the, that healing even more with critical hits this weapon heal user for 3% of damage dealt it's not that big damage you are doing with the gun but uh, it's additional way of healing you in the process uh, I'm having another gun on my second character which are having similar competent talent and but got predatory which is even better for this uh, another nice thing you can go if you wanna improve the healings and if you are playing in a group is Caduceus and Caduceus got uh, really talent that adds up to this uh, which said each critical hit heals you and your group for 1% of your skill power considering that your skill power is crazy it's like 350,000 so that means that every critical hit will heal you for a decent amount uh, of your health and it can only heal each player once every 0.2 seconds there's just some suggestions guys I'm, I'm showing you uh, what you can do with this build how you can choose to go I mean I'm having this one with all three healing uh, talents but uh, the requirements are not meeting the 10,000 electronics so that's my that's my uh, first weapon I show you what I'm using with this build uh, another one because of the rolls on my gloves is custom M44 you can also play here with the talents I'm having harmful competent and determined that will reduce your skill cooldowns by 7.5 percent so that's it about the weapons uh, they are all normal like you would uh, roll those mods uh, in any other build uh, nothing nothing special here I just going to quickly skip through the mods on the lightweight M4 and on my custom M44 so you can see how I modded the weapons <coughs> I'm sorry uh, okay guys let's go quickly to the character actually I want to show you first my talents and my skills uh, you run with the support station and this is the heart and soul of this build uh, as you 
no uh, and uh, because of the fourth talented reclaimer it really doesn't matter which one of the healing station you are going to use they all have uh, similar cooldowns 18.3 seconds these cooldowns can be even uh, lower if you choose to go with firearm skill haste and i would highly suggest that if you are playing with the group you go with the mods uh, firearms skill haste you are going to get some crazy cooldowns crazy low cooldowns and uh, for the group players the best way to go with the mods is electronic skill haste i explain you in the middle of the video why i'm choosing all skill power mods primarily because of Tourette, sticky and uh, and the seeker mines so uh, i'm having this Tourette equipped this active sensor you can see the damage it's almost 10,000 range is 25 meters lifetime 45 seconds cooldown 25 seconds uh, great great numbers for a Tourette uh, and all the time with your support station you are healed to the maximum you don't really have to exit the cover and you really have no chance to go down with this build even if you go down then you are going to be revived in the three seconds if the enemy destroy your support station you are going to be able to immediately put that station on the floor uh, this is the support station uh, range it's almost 11 meters healing rate 26 thousand health power per second uh, revive time three seconds lifetime 154 seconds uh, health is 360,000 and cooldown 18.3 seconds if you go to the sticky you will see that sticky is doing also bfb is doing almost 1 million damage uh, if you choose to go with the seeker mine any seeker you choose is going to have a crazy damage so that's a way to go solo uh, you need really one uh, damage skill equipped on your character and of course your support station if you are going with the group you are you want to go uh, with the defibrillator which are having uh, the lowest cooldowns of all, of all those medical skills uh, 23 seconds which will come really really uh, low if you put the skill haste mode basically you will be indestructible if you're running with support station and uh, defibrillator or uh, overdose or even a booster shot depends what you need for a group so that's it guys uh, let's go to my talents this is the must have uh, triage if you are going with the group or solo you will heal an ally and your skill cooldowns will be reduced by 15 percent uh, you want to have this protection uh, which also working together with the triage uh, you will also have a, if you use a med kit triage will also be enabled uh, i just find out from some other videos on youtube i'm I just gonna say from marco style doesn't matter i'll be honest he said that uh, if you uh, that you can proc your triage with your med kit so this is uh, also great way to go if you're going solo if you use your med kit you will also proc your triage inside and uh, you will get that damage resistance by 20 percent for 20 seconds if you use med kit during low health another great way to go is uh, strike back reach low health to reduce active skill coolness by 20 percent i'm not gonna go into mathematics but uh, you do that by yourself you're going to get some crazy low cooldowns and protection from these three talents when you're running reclaimer classified build uh, and uh, fourth talent i decided to go is on the move basically you can throw your support station on the floor if you're playing solo and you can really dance around the area in front of the enemies take cover when you really need it and if you kill a hostile while moving uh, you will reduce incoming damage by 15 percent this also can come really handy in the tough situations so i mean you can choose any other 
uh, talent you want. Uh, if you want to have a hard damage uh, with your uh, seeker mines, you can go with shrapnel or uh, if you want to use a sticky, you can go uh, with chain reaction, uh, demolition expert. If you're going to use fire threat, which also working great, uh, you can add the wildfire, but these three talents are uh, way to go. You don't want to change any of these three talents. Of course, if you're playing in a group, instead of the critical safe, you will go with the combat medic. So, that's it about the talents, guys. Uh, what else to say? Uh, character not really important 10,000 electronics weapon damage crit chance crit damage these things are not that important for a reclaimer classified so i'm just gonna skip through this in case you wanna see how everything is looking skill power skill haste 21 percent plus 15 from your mods uh, with in this build i will come close to 40 percent which is maximum of a skill haste you can get if you have high rolls on all your gear items and uh, all mods with skill haste you can have maximum uh, 40 percent skill haste though if i got to say if you have in a higher skill power your cooldowns are also significantly lower i, I believe you all know that Toughness is uh, really uh, funny, 219,000, but with the support station, you are uh, virtually impossible to kill, as you seen in 30 seconds video cut from Lexington. Armor, health regeneration, you get like 7,000 per second when your regeneration is active all damage resilience exotic damage resilience this is from my vest uh, it will be better if i have health in this place blind f burn disrupt and that's it guys that's it about my reclaimer uh, i hope you liked the video uh, after this i will show you the rest of the lexington some cutouts uh, so you can see uh, how this build really working in the gameplay if i'm going to play some incursion with this build i'll make a video about it uh, until then stay well guys uh, drop a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video this is about taking the rikers out at the knees there's no one who can replace Lorraine barrett she's the one who organized the escape to manhattan they're holding three of my people there. If you can get them out before blowing them up, I'd be great. All right. Get them out first. We're going to jeopardize the mission. We're going in on your heels. The jail break ends here.
Warning. Incoming hostiles detected. Agent, tricky assignment, but you did what had to be done. Yeah, you broke your spine, kid. With the leader dead, the rest are gonna scatter. I don't think we're quite done with them yet, but at least now we can get these JTF folks back on the job. Oh, yeah. I need my people alive and out there fighting the good fight. God knows we can't afford to lose any more personnel. I owe you, Agent. Hell of a job.